Okay, hi everyone, welcome. So we continue to study from on world peace from Rav Ashlag. And today Rav Ashlag is uh, going to talk about Baalei HaKorban Uvaalei HaBinyan The Destroyers <coughs> and the Builders. Vata nikachet Gimel Midot HaNisharim he says there are three attributes that have been left. Shehem, <coughs> Chesed, Tzedek, Veshalom. Mercy, Justice, and Peace. Shelichora, lo nivreu mitchilatam. Ela likach mehem smuchin, la smich bahem et haemet achalash meot beolamenu. Veteda shemikan nitchila a historia ait patrutit leta pes al dargotea, haitiot van echshalot be asidurim shel rea tibur. Said from those three attributes, the, all of the generations start to build themselves in a develop, you know, in a development way, step by step, but in a very slowly way and uh, hard ways to help the collective to live in this world in order. כי להלכה הסכימו כל בני החברה וקיבלו עליהם בכל תוקף, לבלתי לנטות מהאמת אף משהו. He says, you know, in a way, the collective, they took upon themselves and they agree that they not going to move from the truth or something like that. אמנם למעשה כולם נהגו את עצמם בהפך לגמרי. I have to ask him, but the way they be, they've been behaved, it's the opposite from the truth that's been agreed, right? So, for, so he says, in one way, they say, you know, okay, we agree to it. But in another way, the way they behave is the opposite. You know how many times this happened to us in our life that we say we agree to something, but the way that we behave, it's, it's showing totally the opposite. Of what I agree to, right? Think about situation like that. Umeaz nafal goralo shel kol haemet bechelkam shel hashakranim beotar. So now he says the the destiny of the entire truth fell in their the position of the most terrible liars. Veno matzui leolam elachalashim vatzadikim, and you can't find it. And the ones that are weak in the society or the righteous, Shiru Filu Listea Mehmet, Lomine Velomikzatea, that they can enjoy or to get the support from the truth, not, not even a little bit from it. And from that level that they couldn't, um, let's say, uh, control or put the energy of the truth in the life of the collective. So it will be more and more those that are weak inside of the society. And actually, they've been used inside of the society. And from that been revealed the level of mercy and justice. Mercy and justice. Lif all et peulatam besidrea chevra, that they started to work in creating order inside of society. Kikalut kiyoma chevra, ayam echayevet amutslachim shebahem, litmochat nechshalim. Because when we're talking about the collective inside of society, they have to, he says, to support those that they are weak, those that actually cannot reach the level of the strong ones. <coughs> Why? Because they don't want to create a damage inside of society. You know, the Zohar says something very interesting about it. Zohar says, if a person have money in his life, right, like extra money, why, he says the Zohar, because he needs to share the money. If the person got wisdom, extra wisdom, why? To share the wisdom. 
if the person got extra from whatever, you know, he thinks this is his, he didn't receive it just for himself. He received it because he has the blessing that he needs to share with others. So he says, if you have wisdom, you need to help the one that they are kind of, we call it stupid, right? That they don't connect with the wisdom. If you are rich, you need to help the ones that they don't have money or to spread something, to do something. So it means whatever we receive the blessings, we many times can think, oh, it's me, my effort, you know, I'm working so hard, I'm doing this, I'm studying, I'm doing this. Yeah, but I receive it from whom? You know how many people in this world working hard or how many people in this world study something and not all of them receiving the same blessings? So again, here he says, if you're strong in something, my responsibility to support that, that those ones that do not have the same strength like me. So this is why they behave with, with them with mercy and justice. Mercy, and actually he says, mercy and charity here, he said. At the beginning he says, mercy and justice here, with mercy and, and uh, with tzedakah. Tzedakah can be charity, and be also justice, but with tzedakah, charity. So he's saying, when it, when it started to happen that a lot of the society being the weak ones and kind of, you know, they've been used, they've been used inside of society till they start to complain, right? Complain about all of those that abusing them. So then, now it started to happen like different fights, arguments. And from here it says, what been revealed from that situation? The level of the attribute of peace. Peace in the world. So he says, all of those attributes, chesed, v'tzedakah v'shalom, mercy, justice, or charity, and peace, came from where? How they've been born, he says. They've been born from the weakness of the truth. The attribute of the truth, okay? And, and that level of truth, let me just close this a second, sorry. That level of truth, that what that what, what happened and what created a different stream in society. So some of them... They want to follow the, the mercy and the charity or the justice. It means like he said, you know what? You can take what I have. Take. So he just give it to charity. And some of them took what? They want to follow the, the truth. What is it mean the truth? What belong to me? Belong to me? What belong to you? Belong to you. Right? Perfect unity. You know, everybody... Take care of themselves. Now, if we want to make it more simple, we can divide them to what he says, the ones that they are the builders and the ones that they are the destroyers. And what does it mean? That's very powerful. He says, those that are actually the builders, that they actually, their desire, it's the good of the majority and the collective. So, they, so sometimes they need to let go on their belongings for others. But those that in their nature, they connected more with uh, destroying things to create destruction. They could connect and hold into what? Into the level of truth. But just for their own benefits. 
the Hainu, what does it mean, the Hainu? The Hainu, the Hainu, the Hainu, Shali Shali, what's mine, it's mine, Veshelcha, Shelcha, and whatever belongs to you, belongs to you. Velo Yurutsim Leolam, Levater Af, Mashu Merkam Lachim, and they, they never want to share something from theirs. Mibli Lakarat Becheshbon, not even to take into any consideration. They put society into risk. Why? Because in their nature, they have that level of destruction. Of destruction. You know, so many times, you know, we can test ourselves because, you know, those levels exist in each one of us. And each time we can behave in different ways. Level, yeah, I can be a merciful person, but sometimes I connect more with the truth. No, it belongs to me. Don't touch mine, right? So we can create uh, arguments, we can create uh, fights, right? Because no, I'm fighting for my justice. I'm fighting for my truth, right? But maybe right now when I'm, when I'm, fighting, I'm fighting for my truth, I'm actually destroying the world. Why? Because we're not creating unity. Because what's the whole point of what I was just saying in the beginning? What is the truth? It's to create that energy that flow amongst all society. We are all one. And we can bring ourselves up, right? So many times what's happened, and again, we continue, but Blina, the next time, and uh, read about what Rav Ashak explained, but many times we think that with our behavior, we're building. But many times we can be destroyers. So even... With all the energy that we have, and remember, Satan, what he does, he can use the power we have against us and against society. Because he will let us feel that right now, uh, my behavior right now, it's okay. Because I'm right. And I'm defending something. What are we defending? Remember, the, the, the creator, he didn't put... Uh, Moshe Rabbeinu or any police officers to, to defend him. Even Moshe, he wasn't the police of the creator, right? The police officer of the creator. He defend the nation all the time. He even told the, the creator, if you're going to destroy the Israelite, erase me from your book. I don't want to be named in your book. I don't want my name to be in your book, right? So what does it mean for us? It means for us, because we study Kabbalah, because we have more knowledge, more um, consciousness about it, right? We need, the more we climb, we need more to be careful with our words, with our actions, with w- how we listen to the opponent that sometimes he's activating us. So I need to stop. This is why we study res- restriction, remember? So I want to stop and check where I'm operating right now, right now from. Because whatever I'm going to say or action I'm going to take, it's going to impact not just me. It's going to impact society, the collective. And right now the collective needs support, needs help. Society needs us. We need to know that. We can't say, oh, someone will come and, uh, and finish the correction for everybody. Yeah, yeah, somebody will come and it will be okay. Messiah will come and that's it. No, no, no. We are the ones that supposed to do the work. And Messiah, it's already one string of Messiah. We want to cleave ourselves with that support system of Messiah, of the blessings from the Creator. We want to use them not just for our benefits, to use them for the benefits of the world and society. So let's take this powerful message from Rabbi Ashlag and start using it, especially today, the time of Tu Bishvat, it's the connection between the two universes, Malchut and Ziranpin. We can uh, take ourselves above the desire to receive oneself alone because, you know, the trees, they're going, you know, against nature, against earth. they just destroying over there, you know, all the klipa, and they're coming up. So we want to take this power to destroy our klipa and our klipot and to go above our negative nature and to cleave ourselves from the Malchut to the level of Zirampin 
and to draw the blessings, not just for ourselves, for the entire society. So we want to raise the consciousness of the collective, the consciousness of society, really to cleave themselves with the Creator, with the level of Zir and Pin, and draw the blessings down to earth, and then we can feel as one unified soul that we support and help and share with each other, and then we help each other to climb this ladder, okay? So let's uh, open the mics if you wish. We are one. We are one. <laughs> so let's uh, say Chak Sameach, Shabbat Shalom, Miracles and Wonders. I, I hope you can uh, join us this Shabbat with Michael and Monica. Don't forget. Yes, yeah, so come. We love you, we love you, we love you. All the best, everyone. Chak <laughs> Sameach. <laughs> 